Good morning guys, it's Brad. Um, today's video is a little bit different. See, I'm not made up, I'm not looking happy. Um, I originally planned to make a video today about some really petty, romantic type, stupid stuff that's trivial. Because I want to talk to you guys today about opioid use disorder, mental illness, and what options that you might have, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're currently suffering from this. <laughs> Shut up, Itzy. I'm sorry. But, first of all, let's get a quick definition on what opiate use disorder is. It may seem like um, automatic knowledge, but opioid use disorder is the misuse of opioids, which are a very strong narcotic pain medication, such as Oxycontin, Hydrocodone, Tramadol, Kratom, and Fentanyl. And um, people start out, they go to the um, doctor for that nagging back injury, and the doctor gives them a few Percocets, and great. <laughs> Wonderful, they're happy. But um, in the last six months, I've lost four friends. Including somebody at one point I really, really, really cared about. And it's all because of that. People don't realize these days that these drug manufacturing people are not the pharmaceutical companies. <clears throat> It's your local dealer on the corner pressing pills in 30s. Please, listen to me. One, don't think that you're buying oxycodone because you're not. You're buying fentanyl, and it could very well kill you because you don't know how much is in it. Number two, there are options for treatment. If any one of those friends I had would have taken that option for treatment, then they would be here today. They might be in a rehab. They might be recovered by now. I don't know, because they're dead. Unalive, I don't care. They're gone. And they meant a lot to me, every last one of them. Let's talk about some options. Options, number one, you can go on the lock zone which is a shot, I think it's a shot, that automatically blocks anything from hitting your opioid receptors in your brain, which is what makes you high. So, that's one option. Suboxone is the second option. That's what I do. It saved my life. Some people say it's a cop-out. Some people say that I'm weak for using it. I don't really give a shit. I've been sober for three years off hard drugs, and I'll never go back. So, Suboxone is another treatment, in strip form or in pills. And um, methadone is also a treatment. It's not a treatment I can necessarily get behind because it's extremely addictive. And it's extremely hard to come off of, way more so than Suboxone is. But at the same time, whatever it takes to get you away from that fentanyl off the streets into a pharmacy where they can at least control what you're taking so, to a degree. It's all about willpower. An addict has to be ready to change. An addict has to be sick of the runaround. To want to sit down, be tired. I was tired, believe me. But they found one friend dead. Another friend died after heart surgery from methamphetamine, actually, and opioids together. And none of those people were on a medication. A MAT regimen. MAT regimen means medically assisted treatment regimen, which is where you use medication 
to make it so it's not so difficult. Because the withdrawals you're going to get coming off this stuff is horrible. So be prepared for that too. But if you tough it out, then you're going to live a lot longer than you would. It's getting deadlier and deadlier every day. Xylazine, all of it. If you know, you know. But the last thing that I want to recommend to you guys this morning is if, they, if you are an active use, I don't judge you. I'll help you any way I can. Just comment on the video, send me a message, do something, and I'll help you. If I can, we'll at least talk about it. <laughs> we'll have a conversation. But um, the last thing I want to say is there's test strips available. It's a strip that you can wipe your drugs with to find out whether they have fentanyl in them or not. And it could save your life. And they're as cheap as toilet paper or cheaper and free in most places. And Narcan is available without a prescription at your local pharmacy. So if you're using, you are crazy not to have a Narcan nasal spray that you are instructed how to use in your possession at all times, for you or for your friends. I've had to use it before on a friend. It's scary, but it saved their life. And believe it or not, they were mad at me because I fucked up their buzz. So, please, if you're a family member of someone that's going through this right now, be patient with them. Give them a chance because anybody can change. If I can change, anybody can change. And um, let's stop losing people to this shit, you know? I know this was a really serious video this morning and I'm not made up or looking decent or anything, but... And I know nobody will probably even watch this till the end, but if one person does and one person gets helped, that's all that matters. But I think I'm done. I'm done rambling. I want each of you to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think of my content. Because it will make me have more views. And it will make me do better on here. And I will make more if you like what you hear. But um, just watch those loved ones. Treasure the people that you got. If you have a family, treasure them. If you don't have a family, love yourself. Okay? And put down that nasty poison. Thanks.